So hey, how's it going everyone? The Shim here and today I'm going to be doing another trailer reaction and if you're seeing from the green screen of myself obviously doing um, this loop, <laughs> uh, the trailer that I'm going to be checking out is for the latest Mortal Kombat animated film that they are releasing next month and obviously like I didn't do Scorpion's Revenge because during that time I didn't have this channel, I didn't have anything of it except for obviously watching YouTube but like obviously I wanted to share with all of you the latest one that they were making called Mortal Kombat Legends Battle of the Realms and obviously Scorpion's gonna be in it and why not have myself doing the get over here stance over there and while we check it out so that's why I waste any more time man check it out and also like he says get over here no, no. oh I just see Oh crap. No. Oh. Oh yeah, and also a little note, um what's it called? Since obviously they did Scorpion's Revenge. Um if you haven't seen it, it's pretty graphic and gory because of the blood. And obviously, dang, they really went on killing Baraka's Sorry, I meant to say Tarkatans, which are basically um, people that have blades in their arms and they eat humans. Um, I can't believe they literally killed these people, but at least the baby was saved by Raiden, the Thunder God. And damn, the <laughs> just the way that it opens up the trailer is just amazing. But let's continue. Let's see what this unfolds. Of Shao course. Khan. Ooh, Shao Kahn's in this one? Lord Raiden. I offer an end to the bloodshed. A final tournament that will determine not just the future of our realm, but the others as well. Kung Lao, Jax, Katana. A like a what? Karate tournament? That's all. Striker thing I'll explain later. Greetings, warriors of Earth Realm. To be honest, when I was like literally seeing this, obviously like how it's going with the storyline, it's reminded me a little bit of the Mortal Kombat 9 story where basically it goes to obviously the tournament with Scorpion's Revenge being like the first tournament and then obviously this one being like the second tournament because now Shao Kahn, which is like the big boss in this game or in some of the games, um, now that he's here, he wants to make another tournament, but this time with his own rules that would go in his favor. And now it's like looking like that same storyline, but I don't know. It, it's starting to look awesome. Like I'm seeing characters that like some that weren't shown in Mortal Kombat 9, but were probably, sh but were shown in the other games. But obviously let's see how this one go. It says to end all battles. Fight. This is the end. Oh. An all out war. The robots and the other Sub Zero. Oh! Damn! Oh my god! I can't breathe. Don't be such a baby! It's just a kick in the nuts! Uh huh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Fatality. Mortal Kombat Legends Battle, Battle of, the of the Realms. Realms. Oh. Yeah, I forgot. I brought my girlfriend and whoa, she is pretty good with a rifle. Dang. Blu-ray. What am I telling you? It's obviously gonna be gory and everything else, but like, dang, that actually, this one actually looks great, also, cause obviously we got our first look of basically our cartoon um, style for Mortal Kombat, but now actually bloody and gory, 
being that back then when they first made the Mortal Kombat the live action, um, they didn't use much like the blood and the gore and everything else. But like for this ones, they're actually going more with it. Like they're going with their gore and everything else, like how they do the video games and other stuff. And also with the recent one that came out in April, I don't know if y'all watched it, but it was also amazing. I, I loved how it went. Just like a few changes that they made, but it was still good overall. I definitely love how they did Goro. Different from how they did it when they first released the first Mortal Kombat movie with actual people in it. But obviously it says in, in August it's coming out. So I can't wait and I'm definitely going to buy it. And who knows, I might do, uh, what's it called, um, a discussion about it of how did I feel about it and if you should watch it because basically that's what I did with um, Godzilla vs. Kong, uh, Mortal Kombat obviously, and I'm trying to figure out which other one I did a discussion. I don't think I did. Oh yeah, but I still got another one, which is the recent one of The Conjuring, The Devil Made Me Do It. That's one I'm going to be doing, but that's for another time. But anyways, uh, leave a comment down of how did you feel about this, like, and basically, um, who's your favorite Mortal Kombat character? Because for me, like, my top three that I would pick would be obviously Liu Kang, uh, the Sub-Zero, which is the one with the scar, because there's two Sub-Zeros. And Scorpion, obviously. You can't go wrong with Scorpion. Those are my three that I are my favorites. And I like using them whenever I play Mortal Kombat. But yeah, that'll be it for this video. So, what's it called? Um, Stay tuned for more uploads like this and other ones. And I'll see you all in the next one. Laters. Thank you.